the foundation was able to help some of the patients were going out and getting some of the products like like daily products like food to help the patients can you talk a little bit about your foundation premier foundation yes um so premier foundation is the nonprofit component of um a premier pharmacy and wellness center so it is a separate entity and basically it is a um it's it's a separate entity and not only not only is it um it has its own EIN number, so we are official 501c3. It was basically when I decided to open up Premier Pharmacy and Wellness Center, I wanted to make sure that Premier Pharmacy and Wellness Center was a pharmacy that put community at its forefront. So I had a lot of different projects that I really wanted to focus on. One of the things was removing barriers from those who are underserved to make sure that they got the proper treatment that they needed, like when it came to um, prescriptions, but not only prescriptions, but also lifestyle, um, you know, things that would help improve the patient's life and overall wellness. So I decided I was had all these projects. And then basically, it was like, the, this is a lot of projects that you want to do while you're trying to actually profit um, on the pharmacy side. And then you have a whole list of all these services that you want to do just because you want to be generous. And it was like, well, you needed to create a separate arm that would function on its own that would allow us to actually complete all of those projects. So the, so the same day that we opened Premier Pharmacy and Wellness Center, which was October 3rd, 2015, that night I hosted a black tie um, fundraiser um, to launch the foundation. I wanted to tell everyone my vision for the foundation component of Premier Pharmacy and Wellness Center. And with that, I talked about it being a organization that focused on total wellness, like so a, a more holistic approach to wellness. We talked about removing barriers or providing resources to the underserved that would help level the playing field for those individuals. And through that, we will focus on, you know, community outreach, physical, physical health, um, mental health, and then also financial wellness as well. So I feel like if a person has the physical health component, the mental component, and then also the financial resources that they need, which could just be education, how to properly save, how to um, budget so that you can't afford your medications, so that you could afford those wellness components or whatever, and then also being connected to the community. With all those things together, it would allow us to, um, to live a more whole life, a balanced life to be well. And so that's what the foundation's focus is. And we've also been in existence since 2015 as well, um, October 3rd, 2015. That's great, that's great. So the Black Tie uh, event is every year. Yes. And tell us a little bit about this event and how can someone be a part of this? <laughs> yeah, so the crazy thing is actually, um, this, is, this would typically be the weekend that we will host our Black Tie event. It's usually the last Saturday in um, September um, and it correlates with our opening, our Founders Day, um, leading into our Founders Day. Um, earlier in the day, we host a wellness fair that we invite the community out to um, actually do blood glucose screenings, um, high, uh, blood pressure screenings. Um, we do basically like mini physicals, give individuals like baseline vitals and stuff like that. In addition to that, we create a fun environment that's like a fair or a, you know, carnival-like situation. And basically it's designed that way to attract the whole entire family, let the kids go out and play in the kids zone, let parents um, participate in those um, health screenings and stuff. And then in addition to that, we also bring in vendors or other small businesses to vend items so that it gives something for everyone to do. And maybe someone who's not as open to having those um, or doing those um, health screenings as they're shopping, they can kind of warm up to actually getting those things done. Um, once that is over, that evening we go over to our black tie event and our black tie fundraiser, we call it a fundraiser versus like a gala. Um, because for me, when I started this whole process, I was only 29 years old and I wanted, um, you know, it to be kind of hip and fun. A lot of times galas have the um, stigma of being very stuffy 
And my whole point of making it a black tie fundraiser was I want individuals to know that, you know, you can be young, you can dress up and you can really get into your whole um, philanthropic vibes um, by going and attending these events, pouring into, you know, organizations that are pouring back into the community. So it's really just a fun atmosphere that we create that allows individuals to, you know, um, that allows individuals to give back. And usually that's our biggest fundraiser of the year. And during that fundraiser, we all the proceeds go back to the operations of the foundation. Um, and usually a large percentage of our operation budget go to scholarships, which like in this past um, June, we gave away $13,000 in scholarships um, to students.